Hey YouTube, it's Manny. I've been making YouTube videos for a while now, and I use a program called uh, Movavi to edit them. Uh, it's a fairly simple program to use, but there's one small deficiency, and that's it doesn't recognize multiple audio tracks and video files. This means I either have to record my mic on a track with uh, the system sounds, and then I worry about not being able to hear my voice because of in-game sounds, or I do voiceovers during editing, and this is just a pain because the videos sound so much better and more natural if I record my voice while playing the games. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to record OBS videos with multiple audio tracks and then how to rip those tracks using an app called FFmpeg. I'm going to put a link to FFmpeg in the uh, description below. We'll then go over how to add and edit video and audio files together in Movavi. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, so the first thing I want to go over is actually how to set up OBS to record multiple audio tracks. It's going to be really quick. I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. And I'm using uh, a GoXLR as my mixer. Um, this will probably be very similar if you use a GoXLR or an Elgato, uh, one of the Wave 1 or Wave 2 microphones where you can actually split up your chat, mic, and system sounds into different audio uh, devices. So I'm not going to go into all that detail. Um, that would be for another video. You can look those up online. So uh, let me just go over simply how to do this. As you can see here, I have three audio tracks, this scene. In here, you can see I have a system setting, a mic setting, and a chat setting, right? And over here, you can see as I'm talking, my mic is going up and down. So that's obviously picking up the mic. So when we look in here, we have chat mic, TC on Helicon, Go XLR. Then we also have, so this is a mic device. So if you look here, we hit, we have audio input capture. That was the mic. Then we have system. This is audio output capture. And if you look at this, this is actually system. And it's the TC Helicon, Go XLR. And then the chat is the same as the system. It's an output device, and it's the TC Helicon Go XLR. It's a chat. It's a chat channel, and that's actually uh, hooked up into my Discord server. And then this is just the Elgato um, H, uh, HD60s that's actually doing the screen capture. So three different three different um, channels. You can see I'm only speaking on the mic. However, if we pull up Discord, let's just show this, and we'll move this over so you can see both at the same time. Now I don't have anyone in Discord chat. But if I say, let's check, let's click that. Now you can actually see the chat is going up as well. It's just duplicate really. Um, it's a slight delay, but it's the same voice going to throw. So now I stop this and it stops chatting, right? All right, so now the other thing we can do is let's bring up one of my videos. Let's just click on any one of them. And you can see the system now. System's being recorded on this one. And my mic's here. And then if we go back here, now we're recording all three. Um, it's, there's a lot of echoes in my head right now, but you can see we're actually recording all three channels right now, just for testing purposes anyway. All right. So that is basically that setup. Let me shut some of this off and we'll talk about a couple other things. Minimize this. This. Now, so we have those three sources. The other thing you need to do is in your settings, you have to go to settings and you go to audio. Uh, I'm sorry, go to output go to recording and you can see I have audio tracks one, two, and three right in here. So you have to have those three selected. I'm not going over the rest of this. Uh, these are just settings I use for my recordings. Um, this is more about the audio tracks. So you have one, two, and three. And then if you go to audio, you can name them system, mic, and chat. Uh, I left the audio bit rate the same. I'm really not that familiar with a lot of this stuff. I just named them so they would show up uh, and I could be able to tell which ones are which. So uh, cancel out of here. Then inside your audio mixer, you're going to right click and you're going to say advanced audio properties. And in here, you can now see chat is going to be track three. It's going to be mic is track two and system is track one. This is how I like to have it set up. You can set it up any way you want, but I like the system being on with the video. And then what I have to do is I have to then rip the microphone uh, audio off. I've never really added the, the chat, but it's easy enough to do the same way we're doing with the mic. This is your basic setup. And you can, you know, this, this is how you set up OBS so that you can record multiple things. Like I said, this, this is me using the GoXLR. If you have something else like the Wave 1, Wave 2, you can also split it up. I'm sure there's other uh, applications out there that could split up your chat, your mic, and your system into different... Um, you, you need some sort of software mixer or an external audio mixer. But a uh, software mixer would do this as well. This is how mine's set up.
All right, so I showed you um, how to actually record uh, on multiple tracks. Let's look at now, we open up Movavi and we're actually gonna add our file. I did a quick recording of gameplay here. So this one I recorded multiple tracks. So it has uh, system, mic, and chat, right? So let's listen to it now. We're gonna drag it into the timeline and we're gonna play it. And I am talking during this, but you can't right hear any of me ta my, my talking okay, because it's on the audio track. You can hear the gameplay because it, it always picks up audio track one. Right? So let's show you how to actually add that second audio track in here. So what we want to do is go to FFMPEG, FFMPEG dot org. And then once you're here, you're going to click download. All right, so now we're in the downloads page and you have an option to doing Linux, Windows and Mac. Most likely you're like me, you could be Windows. So we're going to actually uh, go to Windows builds by BTBN. Click here. Now these are already uh, pre-compiled uh, sets of binaries or they, there's no install. It actually is the software itself. So you just want to take one of these, download it, download the zip file and then unzip it in the location you want. And then inside there, there's a bin directory and that is where the executable is. Once you have this down, I'll show you what I also want you to do to make it easier to use. So go into start, type out control panel. You want to go to control panel. Then you want to go to system and set security, go to system. And then here we're going to go to advanced settings. Go to environment variables and then in your path you're actually going to copy in the path to the bin directory so you can see mine is c colon slash user slash manny slash this is the name of the file i downloaded that's the version full build slash and then bin put this in your path hit okay hit okay hit okay and close this out so now we have fmpeg downloaded installed or set up you don't really install it then uh, we have our video file now we actually want to rip the audio tracks from it so that we have separate audio tracks from our video. So open up PowerShell and then what you want to do is go to the directory. I find it's easier to go to the directory that your videos are in. So what I do is uh, CD, D, mine's actually in the D drive. And in here, I actually have a videos directory and this one is in Mova uh, Movavi. And it's, there's only one directory, multiple audio files. So now, Inside here, you can see a bunch of files and I've actually already ripped a bunch of them, but this is the gameplay one I wanna rip. So let's type out a command. I'm gonna put this on screen. I'm also gonna leave this command in the uh, description below so you can copy and paste and use it at, uh, however you want to, all right? So we wanna actually use the gameplay here. So I'm gonna copy this. And down here you see underscore mic. I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna explain to that. I'm gonna explain to you that in a second and I'm gonna paste it here. Now I'm not 100% sure exactly what every little uh, thing does on this. So this is the, the executable ffmmpeg.exe. This is that inside that bin directory that we put in our path. Um, I'm not sure what the I does, but this is the actual file we're going to rip. And then we're gonna map, and I'm not sure zero, but I believe two is the second track. And I think three would be the third if you were doing chat. This is two for track two. Uh, CA, not 100% sure, copy either, but this is the name of the file that we're going to create. I, I always put it the same name as whatever the video is, underscore mic. And if I was going to do like three, I would do like chat. So I know it is dot MOV. I don't know if you could work with MP3. It's I worked, got it working this way. So like I said, this works for me. So then all you have to do is hit enter and then you'll see a few things happening. There you go. It just ripped the whole audio track. Now, if we do an LS in here again, which is list you'll see gameplay mp4 and gameplay underscore mic. Now let's go back to Movavi and add both these files and you'll see where my mic is. All right, so now that we have uh, an extra uh, ripped audio tracks, so we're gonna open up Movavi and we're gonna add files and we're gonna add both of the files in. So you have gameplay and gameplay underscore mic. So we're gonna select both these and we're gonna add them. Now they're both still selected, right? Now neither one of them selected. You have one selected, another one selected. Just select both of them and then drop them in here. All right. So now you have both of them selected. Here they are. What I like to do is this. They're not connected necessarily, but if I do this, you add, click this plus sign, add audio track. Then I drag it down here and see that green line. Now they're linked. I kind of like doing it this way. You don't necessarily have to, but now if we play, all right, hey, this is just me running around. Uh, just want to get some in-game uh, right 
All right, so this is just me talking while we're doing this. Um, in game sound going on, plus me chatting. And I'm just trying to get some uh, footage of this so that you can, we can differentiate when. Uh... All right, so from listening to that, you can tell that it's very difficult to hear what I'm saying because in game sounds are so loud. So, what you want to do is lower the uh, in game sounds and increase your mic volume. And that's what we're gonna do right now. You can minimize the sound here. So, so we have this sound selected at 100%. Let's lower it to 20%. And let's increase our ch chat, I should say our mic to 200%. Now let's listen to what it sounds like. Me talking while we're doing this. Um, you hear this in-game sounds going on, plus me chatting. And I'm just trying to get some uh, footage of this so that you can we can differentiate when uh, between uh, in-game sounds plus my chat. How you want to talk so as you can see there that it's much easier to now hear my voice and you can still hear the gameplay because it's separate if they were both in the same channel i wouldn't be able to separate them so like if i recorded everything on this one channel you would just hear my chat my voice my mic and the actual in-game sounds and i wouldn't be able to lower or, or or increase them to make sure that you could hear what i'm saying that's basically it now a couple of little tips that I have for when you when you're actually modifying this stuff, right? Is to so when you're playing this and you want to like, oh hey, there's a whole bunch of like I didn't talk, I just want to get rid of this section. So what you want to do is we have the actual video with track one selected, but we want to delete this as well. Use a control key, press your control key, and then just click down here. Now both of them are selected. Hit the cut. Now they're both cut, right? And then go up to the other part that you want. Control, hit. So holding control down and click down here, we'll select it plus that. Hit the cut. Now they're both cut it, cut, cutted. Click on here. And since this is linked and we delete this, it deletes both of them. That's how you add multiple tracks. And now you have the option of, you can even uh, mute this one and you don't have to listen to it as you're actually, uh, if you want to do any additional voiceovers or anything like that, you can mute this one, unmute it, unmute this one, and you can do everything you want. So that's how you add multiple audio tracks to Movavi. And that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. You can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday evenings starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.